I'm about to say something highly controversial, but it's what God laid on my heart to say, and I'm going to elaborate on this further in future videos, but this has got to be said as a Christian to the LGBTQ community. We love you guys. We've always loved you. Have there been some bad apples in the, in the community, Christian community? Yes. But we love the LGBTQ community. You are not our enemies. Christ shed his precious blood on a cross for all humankind. To the LGBTQ community, you guys are some of the most fun and relatable people to be around. You guys are some of our favorite aunties, uncles, our beloved nephews and nieces. You are teachers and, and, and coaches to our kids. Like you help to bring out the best in our children. You speak life into them. You build their confidence. True Christians show you respect and teach their children to show you respect. It is important that you understand that you are loved by true Christians. Most of us understand that the average member of the LGBTQ community, you guys are not the ones out here pushing degenerate literature on our children. We have conversation with you. We, we sit down and break bread with you at Thanksgiving dinner, Christmas time, or just on an everyday basis. We see you, we hug you, you come over our houses, we come over your houses. We've been coming and we've been hanging out as family for years. You've been respectful to those of us who are Christians. You you haven't you haven't um, traditionally paraded your um, lifestyle in front of us when we were kids. And you've been respectful to those of us who have been Christians. And likewise, we've been respectful to you being that we hug your neck, we kiss your cheeks, we say hi, we miss you, we love you, as opposed to beating you down with the gospel every time we see you. That's been our reality. For all of these years, the church has been, for the most part, accepting of the LGBTQ community. The LGBTQ community has been our, they have been in the choir. Everybody knows that the church has had the members of the LGBTQ community in the choirs, on the drums, playing the pianos, in the pool pits. The choir directors, ushers, like the church has been open armed to the LGBT community. We show nothing but love to the LGBT community. Have there been people who have uh, taken the gospel and, and used it as a weapon and sh used it in a hateful manner? Of course there has. There, there are always bad apples in every community and every, in every aspect of life, you're gonna find bad apples, but as a whole, the church has been nothing but a friend and um, uh, uh, in, in helping and counseling and showing love to our, our, mem our brothers and sisters who are struggling with that. If you ever have a chance to even get close to someone who is a part of that um, community and they open up and they talk to you, they are some of the most hurting individuals that you will ever meet. At least the ones that I've worked around and I mean I was a flight attendant for, for many years and and a lot of you know that industry is um, is 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 full of members of the LGBT community. I've had to share uh, workspaces with them, and they are some of the most fun, most intelligent. I mean, just hilarious, life of the party people to be around. But when you really get down to brass tacks and you speak with them, they are they are the ones at least that I've talked to. They're hurting. That somebody did something to them and this is not just the people I work with but these are people members of family all of us have members in our family somebody did something to them we have friends we have associates you show compassion to people you don't you don't beat them down with the Word of God the Bible says God says with loving kindness have I drawn you God draws us to himself through his love and his kindness I mean for God's sake God came down from heaven in the form of flesh and laid down his life for his own creation, a creation that rejected him. That's the kind of example that we as Christians have, that our God would come and in, 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 embody flesh and give his own life for us, his own creation. That's the kind of love that Christians should have, that we understand that we too 
are not perfect individuals. So what I'm saying this for is because I am going to be talking about what's happening in our world and we have to talk about what's happening in our politics and we have to be honest about uh, the agenda that's happening in our country and in our world and when I talk about these things I don't want it to be mistaken that um, that I don't love the members of the LGBT community like I said before you guys are teaching children you are teachers you are family members who we break bread with um, and we want you to know and at least the people in our real world scenarios we all are getting along we see each other we say hi we talk we hang out um we are respectful to one another but our what's what's showcased on a television screen is nothing but hate and division um and they are using our differences to against us really as as weapons essentially that's what they're doing they're weaponizing our differences against us and the Church of Jesus Christ has traditionally shown love to this community. And like I said before, there are bad apples in every bunch, but we have to be honest about what's going on. And I just wanna make sure that I put this out there. Um, we have nothing but love and respect for you guys. The vast majority of people in your community that you rub elbows with and you see at work or walk in the streets in the neighbor neighborhood, these are not the ones that are lobbying and pushing this, um, these, these books on our young children, our, our infants, and the literature in our schools. They're not pushing, they're not the ones pushing what we're seeing happening in women's sports. They're not the ones pushing um, what we see taking place in our public libraries. And they are our average fellow neighbor, family member that we see and do life with on a regular basis are not the ones pushing this stuff, you guys. What's happening and what we are seeing on our te television screen is highly funded by people who we never see. People who don't come out from behind the curtain are using, pushing people forward like our politicians and lobbyists. They're paying these people to change our culture, change our society. The average American is not is not in agreement with what is happening in our American culture, okay? Your brother, your sister, uh, your aunt, your uncle, your cousin, your nephew, your niece, your coworker, nine times out of 10, they are not in agreement with what is being seen and displayed across our television screen, in our news media, in our politics. It, we're not, we're just not. And until we all unite around the common good in this country we're going to lose we're going to lose a lot this is my foundational video i'm laying the foundation because i have to go in and i have to talk about what is under attack right now in america and i want to be clear to the lgbtq community the church of jesus christ is not a foe to you we love you we respect you and we see the agenda for what it is but let's be clear what I have to say is to say that we love you does not mean that we don't speak God's truth in love because just like to every other practice that God clearly lays out in his word that he is not in agreement with just like adultery fornication murder coveting we all have sinned and fallen short of the glory of God, right? We all have to be on one level playing field and speak the truth about all sin across the board. So what I am not saying is that I will choose, I can, two things can be true. I can say I love you and still speak the truth of the word of God to you in love, with respect. And that's what we need with all of these conversations moving forward.